YouTube tutorials let's spell it so in this video we are going to discuss about the various exceptions to mendelism and the first exception that is your incomplete dominance okay clear so before discussing about the phenomenon of incomplete dominance i would like to say if you are new to this channel then subscribe to our channel press the bell icon next to the subscription button select all so that you can get notified whenever a new video comes up and like share and do subscribe okay so let's study about the incomplete dominance okay so what incomplete dominance says it is a phenomenon in which none of the two alleles in a heterozygote is dominant okay remember this that none of the two alleles in the heterozygote is dominant okay clear so how will be the heterozygote the heterozygote sorry the expression of the heterozygote is a fine mixture or intermediate expression of the two alleles okay this is the overall phenomenon of incomplete dominance okay so this incomplete dominance is the exception to first law of inheritance okay so what is the first law of inheritance that is the law of segregation or the law of purity of gametes right now this phenomenon is also known as blended dominance or intermediate dominance intermediate dominance or mixed dominance okay clear and this phenomenon was reported in various traits of various organisms like the flower color of mirabilis jalapa and antirinum majus and then your what andalusian fowls and your short horned cattle okay clear these are the four organisms in which this phenomenon was reported okay and in the flower color of mirabilis jalapa the scientists named Carl Corrins reported this phenomenon and in this video we are going to discuss about the explanations that Carl Corrins made after uh, studying the flower color of mirabilis jalapa okay so let's see so in case of mirabilis jalapa there are two different types of flower color in case of pure state okay one is red and the other one is white and red is dominant over white okay so for red we will write capital r capital r as the alleles and for uh, white we will write small r small r so this will be your p1 parental phenotype and this will be your parental genotype okay clear so in dono individual mein hum cross karenge so after meiosis we will get the gametes right so here we will get capital r and here we will get small r and fertilizing these two gametes that is your after random fertilization we will get what your f1 genotype 
right f1 of spring that is your capital r small r okay and the f1 phenotype should be what red according to mendel's principle first law of inheritance right as red one is dominant over white then this individual the color of this individual should be red but what karl korens found that this is pink in color okay that is the color is pink that is the intermediate color between the red and white okay clear so this is your what heterozygote individual right this is your heterozygote individual but it doesn't possess the expression of either allele okay nor uh, not your red or your white okay neither red nor white the color is what your pink clear now we will self self cross this pink individual so let's do the self crossing so selfing of f1 individual okay so with pink we will cross another pink that is capital r small r and capital r small r this is your f1 phenotype right and this is your f1 genotype clear then after meiosis we will get what your gametes right the gametes so what are the gametes here we will get capital r small r and here we will get also capital r small r okay now we will cross this individuals individual gametes so what will be our result capital r capital r then capital r small r then capital r small r then small r small r right so these are your f2 genotypes right clear then what are the f2 phenotypes the phenotypes are your what this individual will be your red flowered miraglis chalapa these two individuals will be your pink flowered and this individual will be your white flowered miraglis chalapa plant right clear so considering the ratio the f2 genotypic ratio what will be the ratio 1 is to this 2 is to 1 right and what is f2 phenotypic ratio the phenotypic ratio will be also one red two pink and one white right okay so in case of mendel's first law of inheritance we get the ratio 3 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 is to 1 the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 but in case of incomplete dominance where we are getting the intermediate expression for the two alleles right the genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio both are equal that is your 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay so ye mendel ka law follow kar raha hai nahi kar raha so that's why this is the exception to mendelism okay so this is all about the incomplete dominance in the next video i will come up with another exception till then stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel like share and if you have if you have any doubt then do comment okay thank you